Let me break TCG. We're here with another deck profile. Uh, today we got Greymon Tribal to cover. Um, long story short, it's been doing pretty good at locals. You know, I kind of just made the deck, only took it to one locals. But it did pretty good all night, so I decided to just go ahead and make a video of it. So, let's dive into it. Lots of pieces y'all already know from my previous red decks. So for the babies, we run five Coromons, four of the BT5 uh, when attacking. If this Digimon has Omnimon or Greymon other than Doru, Burning, or Dex, draw a card. Which uh, which really helps the consistency of the deck, because a lot of red, red doesn't really have much draw, like, uh, or search. Um, I mean, it has some search, but... Not as much as green or blue uh, does these days. So Coromon helps you really draw and get uh, the cards you're looking for uh, pretty quickly. And then the fifth Coromon is the starter deck one. Where if you have a stack of uh, four Digi Evolution cards, it gets 1k. As for the rookies, we play four of the starter deck Agumon. With the inheritable that gives one uh, one thousand DP, and then we run four of the on play Agumon. Look at the top three. Add a Omnimon or a Greymon, other than Doru burning a Dex in its hand, in the hand, and place the remaining at the bottom of the deck. So this is one of our searchers. Really helps us get our cards that we need to see. Next, we play two of the uh, promo Agumon, where if it has Greymon in the name as an inheritable, it gets 2k DP, so it gives you one more. Uh, this this boosts uh, anything as an inheritable, but this boosts a Greymon uh, by 2k. Next Agumon we play is the other promo Agumon. Excuse me, got a lot of yawning going on. Uh, five costs to play, although we don't really play it for the five costs, we normally uh, evolve it onto a, a Koromon, or we play it with Nokia. Uh, so on play, delete one of your opponent's 3k or less Digimon, so it kind of helps us get some field removal going. And then the last card I play, which I would replace this, uh, I, placed, uh, I play the Digiburst Agumon, where if it's Digibursted, you add it to hand. I would like to replace this with the... Mm. Excuse me, hopefully that's the last time I own. Um, I'd like to replace this with the uh, top five look for a red tamer, Agumon. But I don't have one right now. So this is kind of just holding the spot till I get me another one. Uh, which we do play Digiburst. We play Victory Greymon, so I mean, this does come up um, as Digiburst to add back to hand. But I would really like it to be the one that grabs the Tamers from uh, Reveal the Top 5, grab a Tamer. I, really, I would really rather it to be that. Alrighty. Let's boost up the energy a little bit better. Uh, next we play four of the starter deck Greymon that gives Inheritable Security Attack plus one. Pretty standard in a lot of red decks that try to, uh, you know, red decks that want to punch face a lot. And then we have three of the Greymon that, if it evolves onto an Agumon, it, it gain a memory. So basically, it's a one cost Evo. Um, an Inheritable, if it has Omnimon or Greymon, other than Burning, Doru, or Dex, uh, it gains 2k. So we're trying to boost our Greymon line uh, real big to where 15k uh, securities don't bother us um, which is real easy with all this uh, uh, DP gain that we have uh, next we run the blocker line we run 2-2 two -two. Uh, I personally like the 2-2 two -two line uh, because if we need to ramp up and go into a big dude the low Evo cost uh, helps us do that but if we need blockers to stay on board then uh, this helps us do that because Nidhogg and Shoutmon are you know, uh, 
they get rid of these blockers while these blockers would stay alive. Plus yellow easily can remove 5Ks better than 6Ks, so that's another reason. And then I think the last is we play two of the Dark Tyrannomon. Uh, pretty much the same reason as Monochromon. If we try to get up a line quickly, it's the one Evo cost. Uh, also 6K to attack into something if we absolutely need to. Uh, helps us a lot too. Get rid of problem cards before they become bigger problems when they become uh, level sixes. Okay, moving to the level fives. Real, real simple line. Uh, we play two of uh, the starter deck metal gray where if it's blocked um, you gain three memory. We play two of the secret rare where the inheritable is, gets 3k and then security attack plus two if you do swing with it which it has come up um, he can be a boss monster pretty much himself. Um, so we'll swing with him you know if he has uh, let's see if he has this Greymon this all if he has like this Algumon and this Greymon, then he'll be a 13k attacker. So, you know, 13k uh, losing 5 memory on the attack, sure, but a 13k uh, level 5. Now I got hiccups. 13k level 5 that hits for 3 is pretty good. Uh, next, we play 2 Rise. Uh, for the Inheritable to help us with a little bit of removal, we'll get rid of. Uh, rookies that are on the field, uh, especially the rookies that uh, say we can't reduce evolution costs like with Nokia or we gain memory like with the Greymon, the level 4 Greymon, uh, kind of helps us get rid of those memory uh, those memory babies like Terriermon and Gazimon, and then of course the Digiburst 2 play a red or yellow tamer so we get to play our Marcuses for free with a Digiburst 2. And then last of the level 5s, we play Ulcerous Mode, which if it's Digivolved into a Metal Gray, which these are uh, these are both Metal Grays, um, delete a Digimon with 4K or less DP. So it can evolve into itself for 1, or a level 4 for 3. And then if it Digivolves into itself, or one of these, not Rise though, uh, you'll get the Digivolving effect and then it has uh, of course the 2k boost if it's Omni or a Greymon other than Doru, Dex, or uh, Burning. So also, he could also kind of become a monster himself uh, if we have, for example, uh, Promo Agumon and then we have like Security Attack plus one Greymon. Then we have that Greymon, and we have that one on top. Uh, he becomes a 12k, no, I'm sorry, 13k uh, security attack plus one, and he's just a level five. So again, he basically uh, is hitting as hard as this one without the lose five memory when attacking. So the level fives can very well be um, a boss monster itself if need be. So, let me get my deck back in order. Okay. And yes, that's it for the level 5s. Moving on to the level 6s. We play 3 of the Wargrave from set 1. Uh, mainly because with uh, Nokia, we can turn him into a uh, 2 or 1. Or even sometimes three, uh, a free Evo. And he'll get the security attack plus one, and option cards don't trigger in security, so we're not worried about Gaia's. And um, with all the uh, inheritables that DP boost, we can boost him up to over 15 and swing, and options won't trigger, so we're not worried about anything when we swing into the uh, security stack. And we're doing uh, security attack plus one, sometimes two, if we have the uh, level four Greymon underneath it. So we're doing big damage uh, with big numbers. And we're not worried about security because options, Gaia's don't trigger, uh, Kakaida's breasts don't trigger, ultimate flares don't trigger, um, options don't trigger in the uh, the security, and we're swinging for numbers well over 15, so we're not worried when he swings. 
that's really why I have him at three. And then others is we run two victories, uh, Digiburst two, delete a 8K or less Digimon, so that's some removal right there. And then we have two of the Blitz for the D-Digivolve two, and Piercing if they have a bunch of blockers. A lot of times going against black decks, they'll have lots of blockers on the field, and I need to push for damage. So Blitz will help me do that. I'll swing into them blockers, and uh, I'll do a damage regardless, and I'm not too worried about it. So that's it for our uh, level sixes. We only play seven, which might seem like a lot, but I mean, we play enough that way if we see our Omnimons, we'll have something to evolve Omnimon into. Um, and I play three of these Omnimons. The reason I play these is because... Um, I'll just throw it out there right now. I don't play Gaia Force in this deck. Yeah, I know. A red deck without Gaia Force. What the hell. But um, I feel like the deck has enough removal uh, for earlier stages. Like the Ogumon Delete a 3k. Rise Gray, uh, if you have a Tamer, reduce uh, one of their Digimon by 2k. So it gets rid of a lot of rookies. Or it lowers um, a bigger threat and I can attack into it if I need to. And then uh, Omnimon, of course, um, you choose the Digimon's uh, name and you delete all the ones with that name um, for six instead of eight, like Gaia Force is basically why I play that. Not to mention if it's hitting security, it's gonna it's 15k. If they're not over 15k, it's gonna kill the attacking Digimon also. So that's really why I run uh, this Omnimon instead of the Blitz one is because most of the time I'm not really pushing for an OTK. I'm just trying to keep the field at bay while putting pressure on my opponent so not and then of course the uh wind swinging uh bounce back a level six to restand it comes in handy too so two attacks with a level four gray mine underneath it uh you know really puts the work in really puts damage going and then for tamers we play three nokia uh, Nokia, when you play it, you can play an Agumon or Gabumon from your hand without paying cost. And then when Digivolving, you may tap it to reduce the uh, evolution cost by one. So that's what I was saying. Sometimes our level 6 War Greymon can uh, come into play for like one or two evolution. And we can get the punch off with the Security Attack plus one. And um, not, not really worry about him dying because of the uh, no no options activating security, and normally he'll be boosted big enough to where we're not worried about numbers either. Uh, last Tamers, we played two Marcuses. Uh, he's our three, uh, if we start at two memory or less, it puts us to three, and then when attacking with a Greymon, of course, other than Doru and Burning and Dex, uh, if you attack with a Greymon, you tap it to gain a memory. So between, uh, Cheaper Evos and gaining memories when we swing with them, uh, this kind of gives us all the memory we need to work with uh, to use throughout the game to uh, handle our business, so to speak. And then last but not least, we play two Trident Revolver. Um, this would be in place of Gaia Force, but Trident Revolver has just been coming in handy so much. Um, there was actually a situation that I have um, recorded on the on the channel, by the way. Um, if you want to go look that at look at that, it's our uh, casual tournament, uh, yellow black rookie rush against uh, this deck, Greymon Tribal. This actually won me the game because it was the last security he was swinging at me for, and it was his last attack, and he was hitting me for my last security. He had two attackers on board, uh, like for next turn, and this was the last security, and I was able to hit a Nokia. He also had one security, so he had one security. He had just hit me for my last security, which was a Trident Revolver, and he had two attackers on board. I was able to kill one of his attackers uh, because it kills something 6k or less, and then I played a Tamer card with a play cost of 4 or less, so I was able to play a Nokia from hand, which let me play an Agumon, and he had a blocker on board. He had a blocker, um, a blocker and two monsters, I think. Yeah, and this was able to, I think, kill the blocker. I think I killed the blocker with the 6K, and then 
it gave me the uh, I played the Nokia to play an Agumon and I had an extra attack to win the game. So this actually came in handy uh, where Gaia Force, if, if it was Gaia Force, it would have just killed something. I wouldn't have been able to play the extra attacker to help me win. So Trident Revolver, I, I'm just really liking, and this is personal preference probably, uh, to be able to delete you know, a blocker or something 6k or less and then play a tamer for free. So being able to kill something and playing a Nokia to play an Agumon is just super, super, uh, I don't want to say pluses because you are getting rid of cards, but uh, it's value. Like it's, it's really good value to be able to delete one of their cards, play a tamer, and if that tamer is a Nokia, play an Agumon uh, for free, you know? Or if I have to pay it in hand, you know, instead of paying uh, for the tamer and then for another card to delete something, I could just pay six to delete something with six K or less and play a tamer for free. So this is really per personal preference. It has been working for me. So uh, if you want to put Gaia Forces or Trident, uh, not Trident, um, Gaia Forces or Transcendent Swords in place of this, uh, do you, but this has been working for me with playing tamers and getting rid of blockers and stuff like that or problem cards that are 6k or less um, And it's been working well for me So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to these and keep these in here until I feel like I need to change them But that's the deck. That's the Greymon tribal deck. Uh, I hope you like it. It is a lot of fun for me to play and honestly Digimon was getting a little stale for me because um, I've been playing Shoutmon OTK and Green OTK for uh, since since set 5 was released for Shoutmon and since before that for Green OTK and they've kind of gotten dull for me and I really want to build Jessmon when set 6 comes out but since uh, the set 6 release got pushed back in the United States, um, I really needed something to kind of respark my interest in the game and have fun. And Greymon Tribal is really doing that for me. It's so much fun to play. Um, it's definitely a good deck. There's probably tweaks that you could definitely do to make it better. Um, this is just my list. This is just uh, my personal preference of playstyle. Um, there's definitely better level sixes to play if you wish, um, but that's you. Um, there's better level four. Level 4s, you can mess with the counts if you want, level 5s, whatever. This is just the build that's working for me. And it's, again, really fun to play. It really re-sparked my interest in the game and having fun in the game as well until I build uh, Jessmon, comes at 6 with the sisters. So, hope you like this deck profile. It's been doing good for me lately. Uh, locally, um, oh, excuse me. Uh, I got more Pokemon deck profiles coming as well. I got Duraludon coming. Uh, probably Urshifu, uh, single strike coming. Uh, we just made a Gar Garbodor deck for my fiance. Uh, that's a real fun deck. Might do a profile on that too. And I got more games to come for the channel too. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to break TCG out.